Hello everyone, welcome to the third dimension. As you can see, we have x, y, and we've got a new axis called z. Now to make this all fit, we've sort of laid the Cartesian plane down, and what you'll see is the x-axis is actually coming out of the page, or in this case, it's coming out of the screen towards you. You'll notice that we have an up now, and that up is Z. So now, we can move around everywhere just like in the real 3D world. All we really need to do to identify any point in 3D is to provide an extra coordinate that's going to tell us where we are on the Z axis. And that's it. Everything else seems to be pretty much the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a vector form of the line in 3D to begin with. And once again, it's not going to seem all that different. First of all, I'm going to need a position vector. Here's my position vector. There it is, just like in two dimensions. The only difference is this position vector is going to have a Z coordinate. The next thing I need is my direction vector. There it is. And this is going to be the same thing, except it's going to have a Z coordinate as well. So now that I have my position and my direction vector, really it's just a matter of multiplying this direction vector by any scalar, and I can get to any point on this line just by multiplying that direction vector by a scalar. So other than the new z-axis and the fact that it's up, everything looks the same. We're all comfortable in our new 3D world.